Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. We should do a show just called Hot Girl Comedy. Oh, that Where is, and we all just get really dolled up. Hot. <laughs> Hot. Yeah, just wear like crotchless anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Just wear chaps, assless chaps with no underwear, and then just go right into your joke. Don't yeah. address it. Who's dating? <laughs> Where are my so single so ladies at? <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. What about those husbands in the mall, huh? <laughs> It's so crazy. <laughs> oh, we he's should, staring at we me. Should. <laughs> it's you so. Guys. Oh my god! You guys. <laughs> you guys. It's called you this guys. Is you crazy. guys. <laughs> you guys. It's you just guys. called you guys. <laughs> Welcome to Disgusting Hawk. I am so excited for this episode today because I have on two people that make me laugh so hard and they're both named Sarah. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't even plan it. Sarah Hyland is in town from LA. Yeah. You've been coming into town a lot, which yes. is so great because people love when you're on. That's nice. So thank you for being back on. Of course. Thanks for having me. And Sarah Tolmash. Am I saying your name right? Yeah. Tolamash? or Tolamash. Tol- yeah. Tolam- I say it right. You know, honestly, I don't really know the proper way of saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I know the wrong way. (laughs) I know the wrong way, but like, I swear my dad said it differently than how I've been saying it. Oh my God, that's amazing. First, before you get into that, because that is going to make me laugh so hard. (laughs) I, you make me laugh so hard, Sarah. thank you. So do you. I I can, Sarah did my old podcast, Relatively (laughs) Sane, and it's one of the hardest I've ever laughed on a podcast. (laughs) Your stripper story, like all of it. You remember how hard I laughed at you? Yeah. I, I yeah. couldn't breathe. <laughs> well, it is a, I, it's it's a ridiculous. <laughs> it's an amazing story, amazing. Yeah, and your stand up kills me. Oh well, thank you. Kills me. You're writing everything. I never get to see you, so I'm so glad you came in today. Yeah, we're like ships in the night. I know. I we're, feel like that's most female comics is just we're just lone wolves. <laughs> Trying to survive. (laughs) Going from gig to gig. You look great. Well, thank you. So do you guys. Thanks so much. I know there's a lot of sadness going on (laughs) inside, but outside I'm really feeling good. That's great. Because I feel like when you look good on the outside, it doesn't really matter what's going on in the inside. (laughs) That's true. Yeah. (laughs) As long as you look good on the outside, that's all that matters, especially as a woman. Yes. Yeah. Especially as a woman. (laughs) So what's the what's the wrong pronun- pronunciation of your last name? What? Well, I've gotten like Talamachi, Talamache. Uh, oh, that's ba- Talamache Talamash- is bad. Is yeah, bad. it was sexy. Yeah, it, I was like, it oh, sounds French. It does, but you know, what? I think my well, my name is of like the French influence because it's something like dates back to when the Normans raided Scotland, so it has that. But it, my dad says Talmash, and then I say Talamash. But I also he had an accent, so then things were just different. Your dad had an accent. Yes, he uh, was from. He's from South Africa. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Right. So his accent was could get pretty thick. Like he'd always get mad at us if we said in America we say batteries. Yeah. And he's like, "There's no D in battery." Well, so how did he say it? Bat like battery. Battery. Yeah. Oh, battery. But then I'm like, but it's not tree at the end. Right. Yeah. And then he would say, instead of guitar, he'd say guitar. Oh, yeah. that's intense. <laughs> I like it. You like that? Yeah. 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 I get it. I mean, I, ju- I just want everyone to know before we even go on that we're just going to chat today. There isn't going to be some wild, like, I'm not going to be like, hey, when it's Monday. Like, I'm not doing that whole thing today because I kind of just want to talk to you guys. Yes. Yeah. I just want us to talk about, like, sad things. <laughs> 
<laughs> because it'll be funny if we do that. It's I love funny. talking about sad things. I know. Because I think sad things are the funniest. They are the funniest. Yeah. So let's talk about trauma. Was your dad a screamer? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, in a way of like, instead of being like, uh, I need you, our kids come down to breakfast. He would just yell at the top of his lungs. But I actually feel like from the eighties, <laughs> that was a thing that parents did. Yes. Like in yeah. the neighborhood, they would be like, Santa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think everybody's parents kind of, or dad yelled. Yeah. For them. My dad yelled a lot. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't, he, it wasn't just come down for breakfast. <laughs> it was, I mean, we didn't eat together for meals. Yeah. We all, it was just like, find your own fucking food. Yeah. In my house. Uh, well, what did your dad do? Um, <laughs> my, <laughs> well, my dad oh, was a sales person and he owned businesses. He was, he was a business guy. <laughs> he was a business guy and he owned businesses. <laughs> and my mom was a therapist. And it was just havoc. It wasn't, and we always had a nanny. We, I mean, there was always a housekeeper or a nanny who took care of us. Yeah. Did you have one nanny? No. Well, okay, we so had several. One, we had. I mean, interchanging. We had. I had one until I was six or seven, um, who was Jamaican. Her name was Lorleen, and she was my mother. And then my mom just fired her one day, and she was gone. But she was oh, like that's my mother. Yeah, it was yeah. horrible. <laughs> no wonder why I have abandonment issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy I know but Sarah you had like family meals right <laughs> sometimes yeah yeah <laughs> yeah well yeah I mean we my mom definitely tried to have everybody at the dinner table <laughs> Monday through Friday <laughs> yeah <laughs> for sure like she made full on but it was real meat and potatoes it was like hamburgers or like meatloaf and a side of potato au gratin yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nobody spoke a lot, but we definitely, <laughs> it was very, I don't know, because it was, yeah, I mean, my dad, I think, yeah, all dad, I mean, I don't know, I don't know anybody whose parents who didn't have, it wasn't crazy. Yeah, well, some people didn't speak at all at the table, <laughs> and a lot of times there was a lot of screaming. I mean, well, there was screaming when we did eat quiet together. after the storm, yeah, because it's yeah. usually somebody be upset, and then my mom, like, with you know throw down carrots that were glazed because <laughs> she wouldn't have just plain carrots. You have to glaze them in I mean, butter. And I, my mom cooked meals like, you know what I mean, sugar. where you're like, why would anybody do that? <laughs> <laughs> like what? But Meaning like, it would be like, there'd be a protein and maybe like two side dishes <laughs> and, it, you know, that would be like an hour and a half or of preparing and cooking a meal and then she would do the dishes that mm. you're like, that's just so time consuming. I do it for my, occasionally I do it for myself and you're like, this is a waste of time. Mm -hmm. That's good that you cook for yourself yeah, though. Yeah. So well, you'll just cook a whole meal for yourself? <laughs> that's good. Like I, I will. Well, good. during the pandemic, I had the, the time to do it. Right. Yeah. Some people did it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, I, I I don't know. We didn't have home cooked meals. We did not. We ordered out a lot. Um, I just w like went around the house to try and find. This sounds so sad, <laughs> but it is my life. I would go around the house to try and find money to order food because there was no plan for dinner. Yeah, isn't it? Do your parents feel like we did a really great job? You my know what mom, I mean? like most parents from our generation, I feel like they're like we did it, and you're like you didn't. Well, this is hilarious. I w landed from Cleveland two days ago at JFK and I'm like, mom, I'm on the phone with her and I'm like, I'm getting my bag. I can't really talk. And she's like, OK, so how was your trip? And yeah. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm getting my bag. So I can't. It's like really crazy here right now. I can't talk. And she's like, OK, but were the shows good? And I'm yeah. like, yeah, I mean, they were OK. You know, I'm, it's a lot like I'm really stressed. I just I'm, I'm burnt out. And she's like, OK, OK. I, you know, I just I was thinking about it the other day. And, you know, like dad yelled a lot. And I just I feel like I should have really handled that more you know I should have and I'm like mom I cannot get into like a whole thing about that right now like yeah. now is not but I'm just sorry I'm sorry that there was a lot of yelling um and I'm like mom and then you hear like eh, 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 like the bags are coming out and I'm like mom I gotta go I gotta yeah. go uh -huh. but like when she wants to talk about the problems that mm. happened. Yeah. But my mom's a therapist. Like she just wants to go through it. 
but there was there was a lot of it doesn't sound like you guys had as much screaming and yelling as I did. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't. Th- I definitely we had definitely had screaming and yelling. My parents have been divorced five times. You don't think two f- and from one another? That's can you explain that, Sarah? Yeah. You don't think there was a lot of yelling and screaming? Oh my you have goodness. to. I've never asked you. Like they're Not dying crazy. in the booth right now. They all have their mouths wide open. They've been separated eleven times in between all that. So five each in the Catholic Church. I don't understand. Twelve They've years been- of Catholic schooling. So you, they've been legally divorced five times. Yes, and they're remarried again. Okay. To so each other? Ki- to each other. So they got divorced five times from each other. Yes. Okay. I've heard once. <laughs> I've heard once, and even that I've heard is twice. amazing. <laughs> so You mean you've heard divorced once, and then they got back together. And they married again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. I've never heard... Like, to me, why didn't they just get separated? They did. Oh, okay. 11 times. There were, <laughs> let me, I think legally, paperwork wise, I think there was three legal divorces. And then the other two, the, again, I'd have to ask them, but like, we're like, because no, that's else. the crazy thing. Nobody ever talked about it. Like, I knew, right. like, I knew, like, they get in a drag out fight, and then I knew, like, he wasn't going to come back because he'd always leave a gift and a card because he felt bad. Oh. <laughs> so, like I'd get home from school and there'd be like a gift box with an outfit and then a card That's on amazing. top. Like a dress. With Gail, which is my mom's name, on the thing. And I was like, mother, well, I guess he ain't coming back. Yeah. And then the next thing you know, like he would always, I mean, I lived in so many different like rented houses and apartments and, you know. Because I'd, you'd go with him? I'd usually go with him. Were you the only one that would go with him? Yes. Wow, the daughter, because she has two, two brothers. Other brothers. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'd always go with my dad, too, a lot mm. of the time. Yeah. Yeah. I think... Because well, I was a boy. Well, and daughters and mom, like, it was not... It was... Did you have... We did not have a good relationship, my mom and I. Yeah, I had a tough time with my mom. Yeah. I, I mean, we're a, very close now. Yeah. But, like, growing up... Yeah, I I had a hard time with my mom. Mm-hmm. Did you have a hard time with your mom? Um, you know what? It's so weird. I don't think I did. I mean, I think I annoyed her when I was in high school. You know, when you start doing drugs and like sneaking out. <laughs> I didn't expect you to say that. I thought you said you were going to talking back. You know, when you do crack and you just start annoying your mother. Yeah, like, but she wasn't really. Gr- I don't think she was that great at like confronting. Where my dad would be more of the 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 voice yeah and then they would be counsel but he would do like the representation yeah the not yeah. communicating thing is really a problem yeah in families which i've noticed more and more we com- i have to say my because my mom's a therapist my family does communicate pretty well that's great so i come from that which <laughs> yeah. i'm lucky yeah um <laughs> But I've 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 tended to be in relationships with people who don't communicate. Well. Like uh, I'm I'm you know. Yeah, it's difficult. I think yeah. I'm one of those ones that doesn't. I've gotten better, but uh, it is hard to ask for what you want or like set your boundaries. Yeah, and then so you tend to. You don't want to deal with that confrontation, but it just makes things way worse. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not great at it, but it's yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's very hard. Well, like, I always say that after a family hang, you know, like on Survivor, they form alliances. That's what I feel like <laughs> as a family after a family hang. <laughs> We're doing, totally- like, side councils and then, like, <laughs> little podcasts at night being like, can you believe that? It's, like, fucking crazy. <laughs> at dinner, that bomb was dropped. And, like, Hilarious. But I, I actually enjoy those moments. But sometimes I'm like, maybe things should be more out in the open. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, are there secrets in your family? No. Are there major secrets? Not. No, I don't think so. I mean, when I think one of the one things that I found out, I always knew that there was financial tension. But when my dad died and went through his records, I had no idea how stressful that was. Yeah. Like he always, he, it always felt like he was in debt. But fortunately, I do have to say um, he did pay off all of his debts. Oh, and was better with money at the end, but I definitely think money was uh, his form of like alcoholism. Mm. That's just my theory. Yeah, like spending. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, it's secrets are, I mean, I, I know some families where it's really intense. How about when like a dad is sm- quietly smoking? Do you know what I, like the dad that's like, <laughs> has a secret ashtray? I remember having <laughs> friends like, yeah, yeah, we'd yeah. be playing at the side of the house and we're like, what's that? And they're like, my dad smokes. He thinks it's a secret. <laughs> yeah, because you grandma. stink. Yeah. Right. It's my grandma Rita. I was like, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, you smell like like a (laughs) chimney inside of a tobacco farm. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, she was four foot negative. And like she would come out. She thought nobody. She would come out. She would do in the bathroom. Yeah. And then she would walk out in a billow of smoke. I was like, Rita, (laughs) we see you. We see you. And yeah. And yeah, she smelled like she lived in a cigarette for the thirty past 30 years. She's amazing. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, like I, I dealt with a lot of the shit growing up by, you know, the minute I started getting high and drinking, I was like, whoa, this is the answer. You know, oh, I yeah. haven't really talked about it on the podcast. I mean, people know I'm sober, but like the second I smoked pot and started drinking, I was like, oh, this is how I'm going to deal with all the family shit. This is like, and then I would just sit in a room with my friends and listen to Pink Floyd and that Led Zeppelin. Like and like, oh yeah, I would just That's do great. bong hits and literally none of us would talk for seven hours. <laughs> I just thought it was like, great. It was. I just got to contact how off of your story. It was. It was I would just sit there and <laughs> like do bong there. hits and not talk to my friends for hours at a time every day after school and just yes. get high. We and would, I, sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. We're, no, it's that we would do, we because I grew up in Kentucky, so we'd always go out in a shed. It was always in, in the back of a shed, in the yeah. back of a house in somebody's shed. Yeah. Listening. At that time, Grateful Dead. Me too. I was a dead I even. Li- I didn't like the Grateful Dead and Fish. Yeah, fish I was, was like, huge. These goddamn hippies, but I would smoke their weed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they always had like these like six foot bongs or somebody had to <laughs> lift the thing for you. You're like, yeah. ready, 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 yeah. ready. ready. Yeah. <laughs> they were lorch. Yeah, it was not good. Yeah, I yeah. I just got into drugs. Me at twelve, I got into drugs. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, when did you start partying? I didn't. I felt like I was kind of a late bloomer, but like. I started smoking cigarettes at 15 and then maybe pot around 16. But I never enjoyed pot like everybody else did. I could have moments of it that it was fun if it was just with friends. But most of the time it would just be like I'd smoke. We be like everyone roll like huge fat joints, pass them around. And I would do one K or one toke. It would hurt my lungs. And then I would just be asleep for hours. <laughs> Like, okay. how is, I don't even understand how people are waking and baking. Like I did it once okay. before school and I slept through my first period, yep. which was business administration, which does it's <laughs> typing. So like the, <laughs> those teachers, I'm like, what's wrong with those teachers that they let you just like sleep under your desk? So you mostly just drank like you never got into drugs. I drank. I started drinking. And then I think once I graduated, graduated high school, I drank. And then I started like cocaine was being more involved. <laughs> I like the uppers. I like, I like the down. Isn't that funny? Yeah, yeah. I like the down. No, I had that same experience with weed. I know people love weed and it's like a whole new uh, evolved situation now, but like I felt this, like I would get, cause it was always like the yeah. crappy dried out seeds. Yeah. Like, you know, like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> you know, would hurt my fucking lungs. It was resin. We'd yeah. have to scrape the resin with our car keys. <laughs> And then literally I would have like the stages of grief with like, it was never like euphoric. Like no. some people are like, they're half functioning. Like they never get hungry. I'm like, what the fuck? Like I would get super giggly. Yeah. That would last for five minutes. And then the next five minutes I would get super paranoid and think everybody was a narc. Yeah. <laughs> like, and we were going 60 miles an hour, but we were actually going like five. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was like, slow down, you know, cause I thought yeah. everybody was a cop. I was like, this is it, you know? And then I would get tired and, and then hungry, I'd mm. eat up four pizzas, and then I'd pass out. I've smoked fields of pot. Yeah. I mean, I've literally smoked like acres and acres of marijuana in my life. Yes. I mean, I think it's why I'm a little brain dead. Yeah. It's insane how much pot I've smoked. Yep. Yeah. I, 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 I don't, like, the pot now, I don't know how people even smoke it. It's so crazy, but like... Yeah, it's, it's, they've refined it though. That's what I mean. They have pot that's like for to calm you down. They have pot that's mm-hmm. to focus. There's pot for endurance. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, yeah. See, it's yeah. like go, 
Yeah. Yeah. They're full on malls. Like, you, you know, the ones like in, in LA, like they have security. Like it's a full blown. Mm. I don't know if they have. Do they have that in New York? Oh, like the oh, commissary is what is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. I think, well, didn't pot just become legal now? Yeah, pot's legal. Every it's legal in New York, New Jersey. It's legal yeah. everywhere. Yeah. it's insane. Yeah. They were saying that like there's little pop up stands in Washington Square Park <laughs> that are selling weed right now. Yeah, is like, there guys? Because they're all potheads in that in the booth. Are are they? Is there pot yeah, everywhere? Are. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. There's never a drought. Like nobody's ever like, I can't get weed right now. <laughs> a drought. Somebody you know has it. Yeah, yeah. it's really it's insane. It's well, a, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I just it's so interesting that you can really get pot anywhere now. But it's I think the hard thing for me, like as a sober person, is that people always they they say to me a lot, like, why can't you just have a little weed? I'm like, because that leads to a lot of other things. Yeah, like and, it's <laughs> well when you're stoned, you're fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like I'm I'm like I feels like I'm a heroin addict. <laughs> I'm just kind of like zoning out, not paying attention. I don't want to do anything. I want to just sit at home. Well, also it's like you know you're uh, for me it's a mind altering substance. Yeah. It's not yeah like I can't smoke pot. I can't, I can't smoke pot. Yeah. And also, like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Literally going three miles an hour down the street. <laughs> it, I smoked yeah. pot one time 23 years ago before I went on stage at an open mic in a hotel in New York City. And I literally was so paranoid. And I looked around. I was like, why is everyone laughing at me? I yep. freaked out <laughs> yeah. and ran off stage. To, it was the scariest yeah. thing that ever happened to me. I freaked out. And I've never, because I haven't had a drink in so many years, I never have had a drink and gone on stage ever. Yeah. Never once. Thank God. Yeah. I, I it's like, I mean, you know, some people have to drink. Mm, yeah, it does help a little bit. <laughs> but then you hit that threshold where you think you're funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then you're just obnoxious. Oh, it's horrible yeah. to watch people who are wasted perform. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> what's everyone doing tonight? Where are you from? <laughs> Clear <laughs> rocks. <laughs> Can I get another one of these? Actually, it's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. It's uh, better than a lot of sober and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that I've seen. You actually just killed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you crushed. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'm Jay the Scrub. I'm out of my Fuck hot. <laughs> I'm gonna pay for a ticket to see that show. Um, you're not convincing me. She was like, funny. "What do you do?" And I'm like, "I'm, just, I'm fucked up." Oh, <laughs> I think this should be your next special. Yeah, yeah. Just do the whole "Drunk But Not" <laughs> by Jessica Kirst for 45 minutes. Yeah, to yeah. an hour at least. I gotta pee. Light your cigarette the wrong way. Yeah, Piss oh, on yourself. God. Yeah. <laughs> Cry the cigarette the wrong way. You have to cry at least My four times. <laughs> you have to tell everybody you love them. Yeah, yeah. and repeat yourself because you really like the last thing you said. You thought that sounded really good. Yeah, and then he <laughs> held me down. And oh then God. you have to break a heel on your high heel, and then <laughs> uh, yeah, me. To I'm walk. wearing high heels. I just lose a shoe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing a mini skirt. <laughs> Can you imagine if I totally lost yes. my mind and started wearing a mini skirt on Please. stage? Oh, yeah. What happened to Jessica Kirsten? She's wearing a mini skirt. <laughs> it could be your niche. Every now and this then. This could be it. <laughs> You'll, have you Did seen Jessica Kirsten? Un... She's wearing sundresses. <laughs> yes, I think there's she's a lot to be lived here. <laughs> You guys, if you want me to manage your tour, let me know. Yeah. (laughs) What happened to Jess? Look at you. She's talking about fuck boys all the time. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) She got a tattoo of a dick on her forehead. It's amazing. (laughs) And she keeps trying to lick it. It's so crazy. (laughs) It's bananas. She got hair extensions down to her ankles. (laughs) She tucks it in her shoes. She heard they're frosted. Is oh she my okay? God. We should do a show just called Hot Girl Comedy. Oh, that where is. And we all just get really dolled up. Hot. 
hot. Yeah, just wear like crotchless anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> just wear chaps, assless chaps with no underwear, and then just go right into your joke. Don't yeah. address uh, who's it. Who's dating? <laughs> We're my single like ladies. <laughs> Hey, you guys, what about those husbands in the mall, huh? It's <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. Oh, we should, staring at we me. Should. <laughs> it's you so, guys. oh my God, you guys. <laughs> up, you this guys. Is you guys. You guys. You guys. It's just called you guys. <laughs> to say you guys over and over again. You guys! <laughs> With some light observations. Yeah. What am I you know doing? When, you know when you're like, <laughs> walking around, you guys? You mm-hmm. guys? <laughs> Aren't workout pants ridiculous? <laughs> <laughs> They're so crazy. <laughs> They're so tight. <laughs> it's too you much. Guys. Can you guys see my camel toe? <laughs> I'm kidding. But am I? <laughs> Let's talk about our boyfriends. Let's talk about almond milk. <laughs> oh my God, you that guys, craze. You <laughs> Who here is lactose intolerant? Guilty. <laughs> Lip liner. <laughs> IBS. <laughs> oh Don't talk about that, Sarah. <laughs> That's not real. Like. <laughs> you guys. You guys. You guys. You get it? Get it? <laughs> get it? Get it? Oh my god. Oh, I god. think I just started my period being oh, on all god. these women. <laughs> Are we all Are, sinking? We're all sinking. We're what all is this? Sinking? Lilith fair? Is this lip sinking? <laughs> Literally, we're lip sinking down there. Do you get it? Down there. Oh get it? God. Get it? You guys, Who get it? Get it? I can borrow. <laughs> I have one, but it's been used. <laughs> oh my God. That's, such that's a, crazy. That was improv, that's you guys. That's crazy. You guys. That's crazy. Okay. Oh my God. You guys have been really great. We'll Thank see you next okay. week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Oh, In that was mouth. dirty. <laughs> You should use that. I will. Okay. I'm doing a children's party. <laughs> Take me with. <laughs> Maybe they'll follow me on TikTok. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> That's am a, I right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're so brill. You're brill. <laughs> you are. <laughs> R.I.P. my love life. <laughs> Yeah. Are you guys dating finance guys? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I love money. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. I want to be taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Don't me, tell anyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that third that. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. What what? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> we just do it. A full hour, an hour and a half, <laughs> an out, an hour and a half on tour of just that, just that, a live podcast yeah. with like seven, seven of us, <laughs> not even three, seven. Seven. and we all have service animals, enough yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jackets and visors, <laughs> and matching shoes with a clutch. Anyway, we think. all have a service, a dog. <laughs> a ferret. They're all Pomeranians. Yeah, one has a ferret. <laughs> one. <laughs> and the other one has a beta fish. They refuse to leave it home. <laughs> we just talk about how complicated the tour's been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The other day, mm-hmm. we were all in Philly, and it was so difficult it's because, crazy. like, oh, my God, on the I bus, know, like, up. all the animals, and we had to keep stopping. I know. <laughs> fill up my water bottle with spray because it all came out and I put it in my fishbowl. Oh my god. It's, that was it horrible. was so crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> Guys. It's okay. But I knitted a vest for my beta fish. So <laughs> beta f- <laughs> I'm really excited. So he has boxing Brilliant. gloves he wears most of the time because he fights. But <laughs> sometimes when he just wants to chill and just not be an athlete, I'm like, just wear this. And he's like, okay. Oh, <laughs> totally. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's like, you know, it's 
when we were on the bus yesterday and yeah. then we stopped to get like stuff at Petco. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, can I borrow one of your dresses? And you were like, Bryn, no. Yeah. Bryn. <laughs> She's so crazy. She's always trying to like steal my stuff. Well, you know what? Thank God we're all the same weight because we throw up a lot. I'm a size two. (laughs) Me too. (laughs) Well, you can't be on the tour unless you're a size two. I mean, come on. I think I got on. Fat girls are gross. Ew. Ew. But seriously, that's one of my charities. What? Oh, yeah. I forgot. She's so giving. Yeah. Yeah. Tell her about it, Brent. I swear. We donate food to like fat girls. Oh, that's I know. I'm so glad. You know why? <laughs> mm-hmm. Because it's not their fault they're fat. Most of them were touched. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's um, okay. Yeah. This is a touchy Guys, subject. Yeah, like, I no feel intended. You should use it on stage. Totally. <gasps> Thank you so much. You're, You're so welcome. giving. I know. Most comics don't that's give other. Kill. I know. <laughs> Comics don't give other comics material, but yeah. like I feel like you know what? Yeah, yeah Chelsea, giving. you deserve it because you gave me a joke the other day, remember? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god, Jules. That was hilarious. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Totes. Yeah. Totes. Well, it was the one about your menstrual cycle. Yeah. yeah. I was like, nobody was like, ever talks about this. I it's have a 14 days long. That's weird. Well, well, that was the part. Because of my eating But it disorder. just depends on how you deliver. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Hey there, auto mechanics and super cool do-it-yourself guys who work on their own cars. I want to tell you about rockauto.com, the online store with every auto part at the best prices. This is your one-stop shop for everything auto parts. Fuck yeah. RockAuto.com has been in business for 20 years, and they make it easy to find the parts you need at the best possible prices. No more talking to counter guys who need to order your parts, aren't really sure what you're looking for, never have quite what you need, and then after all the hassle, will still charge you storefront markups. I love kits! At RockAuto.com, you can easily find everything you need, and whether you're a mechanic, an auto shop, or working on your own car, everyone has access to the same incredible pricing at rockauto.com. So if you're a car guy, right now go to rockauto.com and check out all the parts available for your car. You're going to have so much fun looking at car parts. So once more, go to rockauto.com. No promo code needed as their pricing is already that good. When you order, make sure to tell rockauto.com that you heard about them at Disgusting Hawk. rockauto.com. Let's get back into it. Okay. 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 Are we fighting? I yeah, feel but like we get we're through fighting. it. <laughs> we do. We, we do. do fight sometimes, but it's okay. It's we work over through like it. Trivial stuff like, you know. Yeah, remember when we got into a trivial fight about Trivial Pursuit? Oh my God, yeah, because I, I accused you of stealing one of my pie pieces. I know, and I wanted pink, and you're like, no. Well, we all like, want bye. pink because we're all so feminine. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just don't, you know. What? I think I'm probably like the most feminine. So no, you're not. I pink. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Are we fighting again? <laughs> Stage. Yeah. Do you, guys, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you guys think we should have a like a therapist in the bus with us on tour? I mean, I could. I mean, like, I have I mean, to have one anyway to sign off on my paperwork for my service animal so I can get on the plane. Yeah. So. <laughs> so. Yeah. My service animal has a therapist, um, but you know what? She's deaf. It's kind of weird, but they have like <laughs> hand symbols that they use with each other. Yeah. 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 It's my hamster like kind of just goes. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then my my it's, therapist. Goes, I noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you watch that the other day? I did. What did you think of it? At first I thought Don't it was judge. Weird. I didn't. I I didn't. Sometimes I think you're lying, but I'm not mad at you. You're not mad at me? No. Well, I'm not mad at you. Okay, good. Oh yeah. God, you guys. Are you lying? You guys. You guys. Guess what? 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 We have a show tonight. <gasps> oh my God. What are you going to wear? I don't know. I'm well, that's all like that matters. White booties. <gasps> really? Yeah. Okay. With like a thong. Do it with like yeah. a thong. A thong and like 
maybe like, like just like a, a teacher that says fuck the patriarchy Ooh, that's good. <gasps> oh my god that's i have good. four of those do you think i should wear it with the white lettering or like and the black shirt or the black shirt with the red lettering or the red shirt with the blue lettering as long as it has fringe it doesn't really matter yeah what about and, and you, you have like a little bit of like side boob showing because that people when they see that they're like I'm ready to laugh yeah they're like that's hilarious I yeah mean, really like that's what all like major comms are doing is just like showing side boob and then like under boob and then just leaving. I've been doing a lot of under boob but just on my punchlines <laughs> <laughs> that's so smart I'm gonna yeah. think about that a lot more mm -hmm. I posted some really good pictures of my ass on Instagram. Will you guys look at them? We repost them because I think Definitely. it'll get a lot more people to come see me in Pittsburgh. Yeah, totally. Yes. Is it okay if I do it at 2 a.m. in the morning? I no, already because promised that's... a lot of people that I was going to share stories. Yeah, but... <laughs> Sure, stories, yeah, including me. Yeah, I already told yeah, but Chelsea I don't think... that I was going to share her story and I just can't have two stories. Yeah, but back no one watches like it at two in the morning. I need you to do it at prime times. Can you can you share my story at 8.05 in yeah, the morning? Yeah, sure. Okay, because I need yeah. more people to come in Pittsburgh. I'm only sold out seven shows. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> you guys at Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> the I, have, city. I have like really <laughs> good pictures of my actual asshole that I just posted yesterday. Did you share them, You're Chelsea? You're stepping on toes a little bit. Because, what do you mean? Like, Are I, you starting a fight with me? Oh, um, I'm not starting a fight, but I will have to say that I had pictures of my anus, my butthole, and then I photoshopped um, you coming out of it. Who? For, like our flyer, yeah. you. Because for... <laughs> <laughs> did you rig you that nervous? to like... No, but I think you she... Did you booby trap it? Bren, what are you doing? Nothing. You're totally turning. Guys, don't fight. <laughs> I'm guys, not fighting. We I have to just, stick together. Guys, I, I am hate together. when we do that. Women oh power. God. Can somebody bring in my betta fish? I don't feel safe. Is it on a leash? <laughs> it's in a boa. It's wearing it but the It's in what? It's a leash. It's in a boa. And it has a sweater vest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vest. Oh. We've already gone over this. So you have a picture of me coming out? Yeah, Did it was you, for a flyer hall. for a podcast. Did you oh, see right. That? I didn't see it. Don't I have to approve it? I feel like yeah. it's getting tense in here. Can someone bring in my ostrich? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, well, if you think that the ostrich well. won't eat my betta fish, I think we're in the clear. Um. Did you forget that my ostrich is handicapped? You're so <laughs> self-centered. I didn't know. Oh, that. I didn't. Know How come you guys don't tell me these things? You, we told you, and you don't listen. <gasps> I told you. I'm, <laughs> are you on your period? Yes. You're really snappy. I told you we're sinking. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. I'm working on that. I'm going to take responsibility. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to so. switch service animals, so it's been very stressful. Oh, my god. oh no, okay? are you okay? Yeah, I just didn't want to talk about it, but you made me bring it up. So, do you want to, us to write a joke about it really quick? Yeah, I'd love that. All right, this will kill. Okay, crush it. Okay, let me give you a premise. Okay, I'm ready. Um, recently, I had to switch service animals. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. You want to know why? Why? Because, <laughs> because the other one was hit by a car. Yeah. And that's why women suffer. Oh my god! That's hilarious. That's brilliant. Okay, I think that's really that's hilarious kill. on so many levels. All right, it's I really... think you should do that one at the fraternity house. That's gonna crush <laughs> it. I, yeah, I love it. That might just be my closer right now. Okay, just make sure you wear your yoga pants yeah. okay. and pull them tight and hard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just had to switch my service. <laughs> Tough time. I know it's hard times. As a premise, yeah. It's gonna crush. <laughs> uh -huh. You have those jokes that you know are gonna kill everywhere. And like that's like a no fire bat right there. Like you can begin right. to get yeah, that's people what, on your side that's or right. you can end with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially like military bases, that's gonna go over huge. Um <laughs> Any of the coal miner conventions, it's going to crush. The financial district. The I mean, yeah. 
I'm yeah. excited for your future, actually, with just that one joke. You yeah, because I kind of feel like it opens up a lot of possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Like, I feel like what's happening is that I'm just getting more vulnerable on stage. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. that's what it's all yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I should go on stage braless? I Sure. Mm-hmm. You know, why not? Well, sometimes I jump. Okay. And I. On that one bit? Yeah. Yeah. The one about my dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. And yeah. I just don't know if when I land. Yeah. Mm, do yeah. you think, number one, I'll get hurt? <laughs> and num- Somebody will. And number two, that people might feel unsafe. Not the guys. No, but not the, girls. the guys. No. Um, I think you should just go for it. Because, like, you know, as, as part of you guys, like, we're here to, like, tread new comedic territory. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should just, just tape, like, two hamsters underneath your breasts <laughs> so that when you chew, <laughs> it's like a reveal. And people would be like, oh my God. And then, like, oh, you mean like when your my boobs hit hamsters. them and you're, <laughs> like you'll hear sound? No, just put them underneath. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then when you jump, it'll be like, <gasps> oh, like, <laughs> yeah. You'll see their hamster faces and they'll put their paws up and then it'll come. <laughs> <laughs> but they might die. That's okay. Art is art. No. This is huge. This is, I was just talking to an HBO executive and he was saying this is exactly what they were looking looking for. for. Yeah. Like, like from HBO? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think HBO. Yeah. He said he was from HBO. I didn't want to tell you guys, but like. Are you trying to like hide it? No. Well, I would, you know how these things go. You never know if they're going to turn into anything, but like, you know, Mm -hmm. I told him about my act at a bar. And I was like, I'm with these 12 other girls called you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. They were. 12. Yeah. And I was like, we're doing some really great stuff. Comedian. Yeah. You guys. And, you hate us. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, this is exciting. And so we took it to the hotel room and then yeah. I told him mm-hmm. more. Oh. Mm-hmm. So I think he's coming to the show tonight in Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, good work. You're welcome. Did you tell him that we're thinking of expanding to 24? <laughs> <laughs> I told him that I was like, we might be adding more women. And he's like, I love it. I yeah. think more women need to be on stage. Mm-hmm. Well, we're thinking love. if we go yeah. to if we end up going to um stadiums like doing theater in the round. <laughs> <laughs> in the st- <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's on my vision board. It's going uh, to yes, yeah. yes, because um, I, yeah. all of us can just yeah. go down yeah. into the people and do our jokes individually. Right, to each person <laughs> in the stadium. I'm going to whisper them. Okay. <laughs> you, in their ears? <laughs> to each. I'm going to eat a tuna sandwich. <laughs> and then I'm going to go down and get an inch from their face and whisper all of my jokes. <laughs> It's gonna be killer. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna eat a (laughs) chicken. I'm so. You guys, I was just had a breakthrough. I was like, what am I gonna gonna do to get to the next level? I know. I well, and then Chelsea, we were like worried. What's your thing? And I think (laughs) you found your thing. You have to find a niche in the market and crush it. (laughs) And that is how I got so successful financially. Yeah. I monetized each joke. <laughs> yeah, you have to. You have to. Yeah, it's all in the delivery. You have to whisper really loud to get the back of your throat where the tuna <laughs> <laughs> glaze resides yeah. to push it out. Yeah, Because that's the thing that's going to let them remember you. And you want to be remembered. You want yeah. to make them laugh like individually. Yeah. And I love that. Or and while you're out. doing that, then some of us are <laughs> doing our own thing around the stadium. Right. Well, I do I do a lot of physical comedy. <laughs> yes. So That's I crazy. just might go up to someone and be like. <laughs> mm. Yes. 
that is where you say i'm cold tracking. you're just like i'm cold yeah i'm cold <laughs> do you do like interpretive dancing without saying a word or like you let them interpret it yeah. is it like performance yeah. art yeah, do you sometimes. make sounds when yeah. you move do you hit them yeah do you some, punch them in the neck sometimes i just like to just slap people in the face yeah mm. and people just say it. um no means no <laughs> i just think it's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that hysterical? Well, it's that hysterical. So funny, and it's a message. Don't touch me there. And it's I a just message. think it's so funny. And then yes. throw a baloney yeah. in the forehead. Yeah. To have it slap. Yeah. We, I, do we need, or is there going to be like any more girls on stage, or do we just go out and do our, th- our thing? I think it would be so funny if we had some really fat girls. This would be hilarious. We get some really fat girls in like very tight clothes to just stand on stage and just <laughs> just cover them in pig's blood. Mm. Yes. Don't you think that would be hilarious? Yes. And just have everyone laugh at them. Because people laugh at fat girls. Don't oh, you agree? Only to techno. I think yes. techno should be blaring. Yeah. If, and if they're like and like tripping, like accidentally falling. Oh, I thought you meant on acid. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that, that too. too. That yeah. too. Oh yeah, put up like like um like things that they might trip on. Yeah. And blindfold them. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be so funny. You guys. You guys. You guys. <laughs> you, guys. <laughs> you guys. And then we'll throw cheese curls out at the audience. Yeah. Just in case yeah. they're like hungry. And then, and then switch to yeah. satanic music played backwards. Oh and then God. shut out the lights. And then a Q&A after. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll just bring it home with like a Q&A. And then lock all the exit doors and turn up the heat. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll pour like two-month-old shrimp down in the middle of the stage. And, um, and then basically we'll... And I think we should end it by setting the, the whole toilets. place on fire. <laughs> And then, and then we set off the fire alarms uh, yes. and torch the place. <laughs> and then we get on that bus and we drive. And then we go to our well, next town. We leave first. And then we just. 100%. <laughs> Are you out of your fucking mind? Oh you my God. Stay? <laughs> my parents would kill me if I was yeah. there and died. I know. <laughs> no, I have to go. So would. So. Yeah. So would. My, my whole family would kill me. But let's. Yeah. We drop the shrimp and yeah. then we set the whole place on fire <laughs> and we take off and go to the next town. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And then we play Bon Jovi's Blaze of Fire when we leave. Yeah. That's such a good idea. So, so anyway, like think about it, and I'd like our tour bus to have maybe like an eagle with blood dripping out of its beak, <laughs> and a, an American flag. Yeah, I with like f- and some yin yangs, some yin yang signs with hydraulics, <laughs> <laughs> and like um, just like the national anthem playing. I was all gonna the say yes, yeah, of course, with Leonard Skinner playing. Guys, can we get scones? <laughs> <laughs> It always comes back down to scones, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that's right. What do you say? <laughs> you look tired. <laughs> Who says that? Hi right, guys. I love you. I love, love you. you. Okay. Oh. Kind of feels weird to say that, doesn't it? It does, but I you know, it's a start. It's a great start, even though I don't like mean it, mean it, but I do say it. Have you ever met? Have you ever said I love you and you meant it? <laughs> 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 That's crazy. Oh my god. Are you or do aliens exist? <laughs> yeah. Um. Have I ever said it and meant it? <laughs> mm. I don't think so. Yeah. Have I, you? No. Is that weird? No. Does anyone ever mean it? I don't know. Do you mean it? I mean, I mean it with like my beta and my service palm, but like, and I love cupcakes, but I don't. Really... I love my new shoes. That's love. I love my Reiki master. 
What's a Reiki master? <gasps> I've heard that. I've seen that on TikTok, people talking about Ryaki? it. Ryaki? Ryaki, yeah. I, I just, love Reiki. You love Rokaki? I love Reiki Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ryaki. I love Ryaki. I love it too. Yeah. It's just body work. Like I just put my hand on your face like this. <laughs> Don't get nervous. She won't touch you. I won't touch I just you. Say That's stop. what She would about. never do, do that without energy? asking yeah, you. Yeah, I do. I feel your energy big time. You do? Brain. Do you? Chelsea. Do you feel it? <laughs> yeah. It should be like a golden light of... <laughs> Wait, Feel don't t- don't move cuz then she might touch you and then you're going to be assaulted. You'll, yeah. Do you f- Yeah, I feel, feel that. It? I feel, feel it good? from here. Jesse, I feel it. <laughs> don't move or anything. I feel it from here. You do? Yeah, you Consider just cured my yourself childhood. Yourself rakakied. Do you feel Ricky Kikai? Do my hands yeah. smell okay? Yeah, they smell. Okay. Do they, they smell, smell, smell like, like salmon good. because Make she soap. ate Oh. What? I get so aggressive with my hand smells and I don't know what like what is going on. The but only maybe time I've ever offline. said anything about your hand smell was last Tuesday. Okay, and I still remember it. Maybe we should work Well, it. it was because you took something off of my face and it smelled like goats because you were playing with the goats in my backyard. And it was not wow. an insult. I love my goats. They used to be my service animals before they attacked me. <laughs> As they do. I don't want to talk about that right now. Okay. Of well, course. I get it. I get it. Because Thank I you. think it's my fault because I was wearing no panties. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I can't say that I wouldn't agree that was your fault. <gasps> yeah. What? I you mean, guys are being are bullies. Goats. There and you were wearing no panties, and they're very attracted to cheese smells. <laughs> My <laughs> Are you saying that I smell like cheese? Um, we're not. We're not. Did you guys? You guys talked about this. I can tell that you guys have talked about. I did. Oh my god! I did not. I just totally. I don't smell like cheese down there. Ask (laughs) Johnny. (laughs) No problem. I do. (gasps) I just think. (laughs) You guys have totally texted about. (laughs) What do you mean, Sarah? Well, it's not like a bad cheese. I mean, Chelsea. (laughs) Wait. I mean, Bryn. Bryn. I'm Bryn and that's Chelsea. I know there's 25 of us on shows, but like, (laughs) Bryn. I thought we were tight. Bryn. You guys have talked about me smelling like cheese down there? (sighs) Well, it's only like sometimes of the month and stuff. (gasps) I just know that goats do tend to go towards strong stenches that are dairy based or yeast related <laughs> <laughs> so i'm just it's putting not a big two deal. into it. it's not, I'm not, not talking to either one of you till next tuesday deal. at four o'clock i am so upset right now this is where it doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> you guys you guys you guys, come on. You, we're guys, t- you guys? You guys? Come on. We're okay. We have a show tonight. Yeah, you we have guys. a show tonight. And this is Pittsburgh. the kind of energy we cannot bring. We can't bring this kind of energies. No, because they'll sense it. Yeah. They will, because I've been reading some of the chat boards lately, and they people have been noticing that our chemistry on stage is a little off these days. Tough. Yeah. <sighs> Are you okay? I, I know. Well, you just told me that my undercarriage smells like goat cheese. Yeah, but like, whose undercarriage uh, doesn't smell like goat, goat cheese? cheese? I didn't even say it was specifically goat cheese. I just said cheese and yeast. So that was I didn't. That's the on, on you. Yeah, I don't know why you're like painting yourself into a corner with the goat thing. I'm just saying, like, it just smelled like cheesy yeast. You're awful (laughs) girls. Thank you. I'm going to talk to the other girls, the other 48. Yeah, when are they coming in? (laughs) (laughs) The tour bus is picking them up right now. Yeah, individually. I'm telling them what (laughs) you guys called me and told me. And Oh, is that them? Is that them? 
Oh my Hello? God. Vi- yeah. Is that Vicky? Yeah, Vicky. Okay. Yeah, they just told me, we're on we're on air, and they just told me that I, sm- do I smell like goat? Do I smell like cheese? Jeez. Ever? D- down there. <laughs> You're really embarrassed. What? Yourself. I don't know. You're making She like- said I do too. Yeah. Have you guys talked about this? It's not... <laughs> It's been like a like we like did a live on Insta, but like where we were like talking about it with some other people, like that just chimed in. But yeah, but it's like not a big deal. Yeah, she it wasn't just like hung recorded. up. She said she had to go, but she told me that you guys have talked about it. She was honest with me. Well, well we were also thinking like business related. We can make them into candles, like aromatherapy candles. Just take your cheese <laughs> funk and just like put light them into some candles, and then just sell them as merch after our tour. <laughs> <laughs> After we burn the whole place down, we'll just leave them outside in case anybody survives if they want one. And we'll leave like a tip jar. Like. Kind of like, it says sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but like take a candle for free. It's called cheese yeast. Please. Made by Jessica. Handmade. And my name is Chelsea. Oh, what's your Chelsea or whatever. Your jewelry. No, you're Jules. Ch- That's what I said. I'm Chelsea. You're Jules. You're Jules. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I think this is a great business plan. Just call me your name. Whatever. <laughs> well, fine. I'll embrace it. I like cheese anyway. So. Well, then, mm. Just too. save it in Ziploc bags, whatever you're producing down there. <laughs> I'm going to eat my own smell. And freeze it because we're going to need it for the long haul. And I don't want it to go bad. Because we're going. We're the long haul. It's gonna be I'm, a long tour. I'm gonna it's let gonna be a long tour. <laughs> you guys <laughs> also smell. Are you ready? And we'll get into that the next time. Okay. Okay. I've accepted it. Yeah. I'm gonna make mine into bookmarks. I'm yeah. Put it, laminate it. Mine's gonna be like those Listerine patches that you put on your tongue. What, your smell? Yeah. Is that wrong? <clears throat> well, if you only knew what it was, you may not say that. I wish I knew what it was. <laughs> shoes. Guys, uh, what? The shoes. Shoes. Yeah. Oh. The inside of shoes, right? After a long marathon. Right, Chelsea? In the uh-huh. deserts of Malacca that just, High. That just the means Holocaust. I'm, and you very have healthy. a fungus. That just means I'm healthy. That ripped open. <laughs> With... Pus and blood smoothies in there. I love that we're with so passive aggressive about it. Two percent no socks. <laughs> we hate our stuff. They're like, what do you guys talk about? Uh, we just passive aggressive. We made our, our we made our sense so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. We we bash our own vagina. <laughs> yes. Pus and blood and, and infection. Stench. Yeah. But make them into... Because if we don't, they will. Gold. <laughs> we'll bash them before you do. <laughs> and make candles out of them. hmm Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Here's Cheers. to a dynamite business plan. <laughs> The first dollar will be framed and put in my bathroom. I'll shove it down my toilet and shit on it. (laughs) That's how much I don't care. Because I don't. don't. You don't. I fucking don't care. You don't fucking care. And that's what we like about you. I knew that when we first did our auditions. (laughs) When you (laughs) showed up. (laughs) Yeah. When you showed up. Yeah. And just a t-shirt. And high heels. Yeah. <laughs> I was on a lot of Ambien. <laughs> I love that drug. So I don't remember a thing. I was blacked out, but I'll take your word for it. I probably killed it with my threads. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was on a lot of Ambien. <laughs> yeah. Who's <All> not? Right. <laughs> I definitely drove, though, fast. You did. You, <laughs> peeled, in t- you peeled into the parking lot. <laughs> In your Dodge Charger. Yeah. Watch back. I'll never understand why you were carrying a fern plant, but. 
<laughs> you never know. <laughs> Am I right? Right. <laughs> I don't sabotage myself anymore. <laughs> no, you don't. I don't. You I don't. can never leave home without some sort of fur. You're like, this is me and deal with deal it. Deal with it. Because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and then I shit on the plant. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when we we're like, you've you got the part. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's when I got the tour bus, the, the van. Yeah. So. <laughs> you did. And right. then you got us air conditioning too that day. Yeah. Yeah. Because it wasn't in there. Yeah. Well, that's because of Kyle. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Yeah. Also, like, you can thank me for having Ozzy Osbourne in there constantly playing guitar. <laughs> <laughs> that also wasn't easy to get, but well, whenever you want to thank me. I don't know me. if I want to thank you for that. That was kind of annoying for a little while. Okay. Wow. I'll let well, him he know. He was in my bed the whole time. Well. Oh. Well. I didn't pay him in full, so I guess that was a deposit. That's fine. Okay. I mean, that's like water under the bridge. Yeah, I mean, by now. That was like 20 years ago. You can thank <laughs> me for dealing with Sharon. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> hmm. What it? Okay, well, I would love it if the mule could be taken out because he shit on my bed. <laughs> So I don't know whose little idea that was, because somebody I mean, didn't want to carry a purse, so they brought a mule to take on them <laughs> <laughs> to handle all their shit to the stage. So if anybody wants to come clean, yeah, fine. I don't like purses. I have I knew a mule. It, I have a mule that carries my shit everywhere I go. Well, if you cannot sleep in my bed, that would be great. All right. Are you yes. guys fighting? No. no, we're just working on our differences. Yep. Um, All right. Well, okay. We're going to wrap this up. Okay. <clears throat> I think this has been a really healthy conversation. Me too. Um, mm -hmm. Guys, thanks for coming in. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, Pittsburgh. <laughs> you guys you tonight. Guys. Are you, yeah, plug the tour. Plug yeah. it. Where are we in Pittsburgh? What stadium <laughs> again? <laughs> Look for <laughs> the minstrel blood. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Follow exactly. the trail of menstrual Fuck, blood. Yeah. Guys, we'll be dripping <laughs> all over <laughs> yes. Pittsburgh. There's going to be droplets of blood mm -hmm. all over town. So just follow the droplets of blood. There's yeah. going to be 37 of us walking around, just mm. droplets of blood just, everywhere, right, girls? It's going to feel yeah. tense wherever. <laughs> you guys. It's going to be hilarious. Yeah. So. Yeah. so. And um, we'll be at the Flyer Stadium. We forgot what it's called, but who cares? We'll be <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, we just show up. Can you tell guy, uh, guys, can you let everyone know where they can reach you, where they can find you online? For real. Oh, for real. Yes. Uh, at Stalamash on all platforms. And that's it. Okay. And Lady Journey podcast. Yeah, it's yes. really funny. Lady Journey. That's yeah. Cute. It's a lady, yeah, Lady Journeys. This is a lady journey. It is. Yeah. This was a major lady journey. Yeah. You where can where find can everyone me on find Instagram? You? Sarah Highland Rosenstein. Yeah. Come on over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What a journey. What a beautiful, beautiful show this has been. Guys, thank you so much for listening and watching. I don't know what the hell just happened, but <laughs> yeah. it was amazing. <laughs> and I feel so pure. I love you all. Goodbye. Shh.